Hi everyone, we got this uh, boat for sale. It's a uh, 1990 Monero 24, uh, which we built, of course, back in 1990. We'll just take a walk around here. So hull length is 23 foot seven. It's powered with a Volvo 570 V8 gas engine. The leg is a 290 dual prop with the stainless props. It comes with a 2015 Yamaha high thrust kicker. And it's got uh, hydraulic steering, we'll show you that later. It's got Bennett trim tabs there. Also comes with this Highliner trailer. It's a 2017 galvanized tandem, 5,200 pound capacity. It's got disc brakes and a swing arm there. So the hulls are all hand laid. Actually, all the parts are hand laid. And here's our trademark hull entry. See how sharp that is. So that makes it very soft riding and dry riding with the flare. Up top here we've got fiberglass bow sprit with a Brustal 5 kilo anchor. A remote spotlight operated at the dash and uh, Lumar V700 windless and it has a, a foot switch for up. Looking inside we've got of course our motor box here. Seating at the back. So we've got two cushions for seating. So they can also be placed like this to sleep across. It gives you about six feet and you want an extra room you can stick your feet in the pockets. So we have lots of cockpit floor space uh, for fishing. Very deep freeboard. Makes it safe. You've got a stainless rail hold on to. Uh, it's got uh, for fishing you got your Scotty downrigger bases one on each side with power lit inlets inside the pocket there so there's lots of storage inside those pockets one on each side uh, inside here you can see there's a battery charger over here is a it's a footstep to get in and out of the boat and that's removable it's made out of teak looking up forward we've got seating for four so these will just swivel around this seat here will flip up. So that reveals the counter space, your sink, dish locker in here. On the driver's side, got our dash. We have a chart plotter. It's a Florence Elite 7. So that's fish finder and uh, GPS chart plotter. We've got a, a Ritchie compass, full gauges. We've got also a heater. So the heater is down below here, right in there. And that runs off the engine and it's ducted to one vent here at your feet. We've got one here on the dash and the other one is over here on the dash. And the switch is right there. So it's got three speeds and it blows well. Down here is the switch for the spotlight. Above it, that's your trim tabs, uh, the hydraulic trim tabs. That's your horn switch there. Here is your switch for the leg. 
and then the trim indicator that's working and just lights and various switches here wipers up here you got your your windless switch and of course your VHF which is an ICOM ICM412 cabinetry we got some teak laminate cabinets uh, with a door and a drawer a little bit of storage under the footrest there under here we've got some storage now it has a pump out you put your fish in there unless you get catch some big fish but it's still good storage forward of that is the fuel tank it's 49 imperial gallons we've got about six one and a half feet of headroom under the hard top at the aft end it changes as you go forward it steps a little bit there but then you're you're stepping down here you have lots of headroom looking in the berth we've got uh, about six foot five length from bulkhead to bulkhead underneath the cushion here is your marine toilet now this one just pumps directly overboard but you can get the option of adding a holding tank up forward is your anchor locker your chain rope some shelves on one on each side behind here is is your access to behind dash for wiring it's got a, a light on each side and then you've got your full full hatch the motor box is just hinged it'll also come right off showing the engine down below we've got the couple of bilge pumps one's an automatic the other one's just switched it's got a, a raw water wash down you can see the through hole there now this panel will just So the panel just lifts off simply to get behind the back here. So we got two batteries, one and two there. There's your trim pump for the leg. That's your raw water pump. And that's your trim tab pump. Over there is the the pump for the steering for the kicker I'll show you that here's your remote for the kicker steering so we just turn it on and it should work there we go so you can just hang this around your neck now you still have to use the the control handle here for shifting and the throttle. But it does have a power tilt. Inside here we've got a uh, Origo 3000. It's a two burner alcohol stove. That will just sit right up on the counter here. You flip up your seat. Here's an old school stereo with cassette, if you got any cassettes still around. It does work. I didn't check the cassette part, but uh, the stereo does come on. Oh, look at that. Nice. Sitting at the driver's seat, it's got excellent visibility. Actually, all the way around. I won't spin all the way around, but and you're not having to reach for the steering wheel or the control it's very comfortable we've got dual wipers and they're independently operated
book comes with fenders and lines and some safety gear like some fire extinguishers, uh, flares, short power cord. There's some uh, rod holders there. Safety kit, paddles, even um, a roll of toilet paper. Great. The front of the boat. And above there's a handrail to hold on to. Uh, in the middle we've got two rails so you can put uh, kayaks up here. No radar on this one but uh, could be added. The boat also comes with full camper canvas, drop curtain, and a sloping cover. All in excellent condition. So the asking price of this boat is 44300 Canadian dollars. The boat's located at our shop, Monero Marine, in Richmond, BC. Come on out, take a look. Thanks for watching.